So the story this time around is everything that's coming all together. It's the end. The Valiard is going to try and take on the Doctors and Calabrax in one last epic battle and, well, it's up to the heroes to stop him really. We've also got the new edition of Claris played by Tom Bowen. Also, um, body doubled by me. I'm just saying, I'm just, I think I did the, the majority of the job. I'm just, I'm just saying, Tom. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, he's also here on the Valiard side, so it's nice he doesn't buddy, but you know, we can't let him win. So when we meet Calabrax in this episode, he's a lot different to when we last saw him in Warriors of Seth, and even in Funeral for a Friend, Bree doesn't want anything to do with the fight for reasons. Well, there's a lot of reasons why, but can I explain them all? I think you'll just have to wait and find out. It was interesting to play a hero who didn't really want anything to do with it anymore. It was like Spider-Man 2, when, when Peter gives up being Spider-Man. So this is the final episode, it's basically the end of an era. Which is crazy, I mean, I've played Calabrax since 2015, so three years with the character, trying to say goodbye and wrap up the story, it's um, it, 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 was, it was sad to do really, but I think, I think we've come up with a satisfying end, so I hope people will enjoy what we've done with everyone and the story and yeah, I think, I think the legacy of the Time Lord is going to be one to be remembered. So Doctor Who Legacy of a Time Lord releases on the 22nd of September 2018. Be there or be square, 